So hi everyone, welcome to you all in my another video. And today's video is about uh, job opportunities after your graduation in pharmacy. You are a B farm. You did your uh, M farm or you did your farm day, and then you want to you know want to know that what are the uh, job prospects in India and abroad. Especially, I will give the perspective of the Australia. So there will be a high demand, and what are the process you know I will discuss uh, one by one. So the first option is that once you are a graduate. So the first option is that you go, uh, want to work as a pharmacist in hospital in clinical settings. You know, so I can say that in India you must go to work as a hospital pharmacist or clinical pharmacist or community pharmacist, whatever you got uh, uh, any any job, whatever and whatever. Please like my videos and leave a comment below if you have any questions. You know, I'm not making videos just for um, views or for me the money, but yeah, it, it give me the, the strength that you are uh, watching my videos and you like my content. So it give me the encouragement to make more videos. In my mind, hundred of videos for you to make and you, you you can success in your life like me. I was in India, I struggled a lot. Now I am in Australia. So I the salary want they pay, they might be paid at 10 to 15 thousand initially but after five years it will be like more than 50 thousand i know many people they are working as a community uh, pharmacist now they are a manager in apollo and some of them working in the hospital now they are a clinical pharmacist and they are a um, like uh, hod you know the salary is like 60 thousand is about you know so after five years so it will be good so whatever job in you start in hospital and community after five years your salary will be fifty thousand plus in India. But but what about the uh, abroad? But if you are planning to work in abroad, then after two to three years working in a hospital, now now you can uh, try to go abroad. Especially if you are going for any country, for example Australia, US, uh, UK, Canada, even in the Middle East, you need to work in hospital setting. Then it will be good. Many countries even hire without writing an exam because but nowadays lot of competition because after uh, passing the exam lot of people are looking for a job you know for example in Middle East everyone asking the each country have their own criteria for example Saudi Arabia there is a you need to pass MOH for UAE as well you have to pass like a hard exam or MOH in the in Middle East when you come to Australia uh, you have to uh, write CAPS exam then uh, PEBC for Canada so so the in, the in the short that if you are working you have two three experience definitely you can move to abroad as a working as a pharmacist might be some country need as a to write exam but some country uh, can hire you without any exam because you already have a experience so this is one of the option this is a good option to work in a hospital number two i keep on the clinical research clinical research is a very booming career uh, in around the world is especially yeah, if, if you are looking at a uh, low and middle income countries such as india in those countries lot of uh, the cost of it uh, of a trial is very very uh, very low as compared to like australia us canada you know so there is a huge scope of all the company all the mncs they have uh, in their office i'm working in australia in clinical trials and whenever we have some work or you know some most of the people are working in India and they are given uh, to uh, give uh, uh, like our queries you know but our queries we have we just wrote the email and we just call them you know? so the, the people are sitting in Bangalore, Hyderabad, Mumbai and you know, those kind of things so if you are uh, going for any uh, initial starting job might be uh, very low might be 15 to 20,000 in India is like a clinical trial assistant or clinical trial coordinator you just join there and after that you can move to a CRA once you be CRA you have one year experience so it's like you have two to three experience total in clinical research now you can move to any abroad country for example australia and australia given a visa without writing any exam so if you have a, a three-year experience in clinical clinical trial or clinical research then you can move to australia nowadays pharmaceutical company are, are given the, the sponsorship so you can move directly even the companies are paying you 10 to 15 thousand signing amount they are giving you because is a lot of vacancies are available and people are not available to work you know the locals do not want to work in this job because you know there is a need some of the 
ट्रेवलिंग टू गो टू ए वन सिटी टू अनदर सिटी इन माइट बी द वन स्टेट टू अनदर स्टेट बट कंपनी आर गिवन वेरी गुड सैलरीज इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया यू कैन मेक अप टू द हंड्रेड थाउजेंड टू वन फिफ्टी थाउजेंड यू नो द डॉलर लाइक आई कैन से फिफ्टी लैख टू लाइक एटी लाख रुपीज इंडियन रुपीज यू कैन मेक इन क्लिनिकल ट्रायल्स एंड देर इज नो नीड टू राइट एनी एग्जाम तो दिस इज वन ऑफ द गुड ऑप्शन फॉर यू नंबर तीन इज द फार्माकोविजिलियन फार्माकोविजिलियन हाइज और वेरी वेरी गुड अगेन दिस इज आल्सो मैंडेटरी फॉर ऑल द फार्मास्यूटिकल कंपनीज दे हैव टू बी मेक देयर ऑन डिपार्टमेंट वाट एवर दे आर वर्किंग इन द मैनुफैक्चरिंग साइड और और दे आर सेलिंग द मेडिसिन यू नो सो इन द हाई इनकम कंट्रीज द कॉस्ट ऑफ द फार्माकोविजिलियंस डिपार्टमेंट इज वेरी हाई सो वाट दे डिड दे आर हायरिंग इन इंडिया ऑल द कंपनीज स्पेशली ऑल द आई टी कंपनीज लाइक विप्रो आर टी सी एस ऑल द कंपनीज दे आर डूइंग दिस एंड दिस पी वी स्टडीज दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स यू नो सो तो पी वी हैव ऑल्सो हैव ए वेरी गुड स्कोप एंड इंडिया इन इंडिया आई बेसिकली स्टार्टिंग सैलरी लाइक ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी थाउजेंड एंड आफ्टर द फ्यू ईयर्स इट इज लाइक टू टू थ्री ईयर्स इट इज सैलरी लाइक फोर्टी टू फिफ्टी थाउजेंड आई नो मैनी ऑफ माई फ्रेंड्स एंड माई क्लासमेट्स दे आर वर्किंग इन फार्म को विजिलेंस तो आफ्टर यू हैव सम एक्सपीरियंस इन फार्म को विजिलेंस इवन यू कैन मूव टू ऑस्ट्रेलिया और एनी अदर कंट्री बट द प्रॉब्लम इज दैट मोस्ट ऑफ द कंपनी रिक्वायर ए लाइसेंस इफ यू आर रजिस्टर्ड फार्मासिस्ट इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया there is easily you can move you, uh, uh, to for pharmacovigilance or if you are registered nurse or dentist you know so those kind of things is easy so i can say that is if we are comparing here pharmacovigilance and clinical trials so clinical trial is better than pharmacovigilance if you are moving if you are looking to uh, on the prospect if you are uh, moving to abroad and abroad the salary is very good here in australia again uh, like 90000 200000 on an average the pharmacovigilance uh, professionals they are making So number four is the medical writing. Medical writing also have a very uh, a good scope, and especially you know a lot of companies they are they give the work in India, and a lot of companies are working. And I know some people are working in 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 medical writing. I'm also going to have their their interviews and upload on on this channel, so you can have perspective. So one of my friend is joined you know after B form, and is she uh, she was joined like eighteen thousand or something. Uh, after five years now, her salary is about fifty five thousand in Mumbai. You know so. This is a good scope and another uh, possibility if you have a higher degree if you have a m form or you have a farm d and you are going in the uh, in the medical writing medical writing is not just the writing that the manuscript or the publication or, or the review but they also involve in the writing of of the cases of the pharmacovigilance on even in the clinical trials you know so a lot of work is there even in that they are uh, working and designing like a uh, PPT or uh, some kind of uh, any folder. So, so basically, medical writers are helping to the pharmaceutical company to promote their product or their company. You know, and uh, so this is also very uh, good scope. But yeah, in terms of the abroad, if for example, if you have a master degree and you have some experience, you can move to Australia. There is no need to write any exam. Especially if you have about three to five year experience, definitely uh, you can move to Australia or some of the uh, the good countries. There is no need to write any exam. So medical writing also one of the uh, the good uh, profession might be for you. But in english is required if you have very good english then you have to go in the profession number 5 is a patent attorney you know the patent uh, agent we can say this is also one of the the, the option like new innovations new medicines um, new chemicals you know is coming and everyone has to file their patent even the uh, those are working as a professor in universities and academics and pharmaceutical industry you know they also need to file the patent in india also this is good option the salary is like 25 to 30000 in initially but after some time it, it might be 40 to 50000 even um, you can be like if you have a uh, b form then you are plus you can go for a llb or a lawyer this also one of the good combination if you want to be a, a successful in the uh, ipr field but in the perspective of the abroad so you know the each country have their own regulations so if you are have experience working in india so it's it a little bit uh, difficult for you to move to abroad because you know you do need to learn um, the new things here but if you have some experience and you are coming to australia for a master degree or something then it might be a very good option for you so these are the five options best for you if you are to work and earn in money in the good way in india and agar aapko ye video pasand aaya तो इसे लाइक करें कमेंट करें और सब्सक्राइब 
करना ना भूलें और बेल आइकन पर जरूर दबाएं ताकि आपको नेक्स्ट वीडियो की नोटिफिकेशन मिलती रहे